right, continuing here with the uh, factor remainder theorem um, is what we're continuing on with here. Um, here's the key. Um, the key that we have between these two is now we don't have to use that long division in order to solve this problem. We could. We could solve the problem with long division, but let's make it a little more simpler. And we used synthetic substitution before, so that's what we're going to try to work on here. This is uh, x plus uh, 5, right? So if we set that up as if it's to equal 0, we subtract 5 on both sides, right? I end up getting x equals negative 5. Remember in 6.2 we are doing synthetic substitution? That's basically what we're going to be doing here now. And now I know that x equals negative 5. Alright, so now that I know that x equals negative 5, I can do my synthetic substitution, right? Because I know what x equals negative 5. So I take down all my exponents, which is a 2. Um, it's a 6, right? It's a negative 16 and it is a positive 24. And the reason that there's no zeros is it's cubed squared first power, no x's the whole way down. There is, it's not skipping over any x's at all. And now over here goes a negative 5. So just like anything else, I bring down the first term, which is a 2. If you remember in 6.2, we multiply. So 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. I add them together to get negative 4. Negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. I add those together to get 4. 4 times negative, 20, or negative 5 is negative 20. I add those together to get 4. So now what you're asking is, what does that tell me? Well, when we were doing this before, you, you would circle this and go, oh, right here. That. That's your answer. That's your answer if we plugged it in we didn't plug it in. What that answer is, is that's your remainder. That's what that is. That's your remainder. So what this tells us is, is that this, you always go one step lower whenever you're doing this, okay? You gotta keep that in mind. It was x cubed, so now this is 2x squared. This is minus 4x. This is plus 4, and there is your remainder. So remember that that's what we have here. Okay, remember that that's what we have. Uh, 2, negative 4, 4. 2, negative 4, 4, right? So 2, negative 4, 4. So we had 2, negative 4, positive 4, and we had another 4 here at the end. What do you think I do with that 4 at the end? Well, just like before, that's your remainder, so I write it as 4 over x plus 5. So it's 2x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 4 over x plus 5. Okay, so there is your answer for that using synthetic substitution, or as they call it now, synthetic division. So we do the same here. This you can really just look at it and see what will give you 0 in here. Well, negative 4. So x equals negative 4. So we know that x equals negative 4. No problem. So when I go and set this up, um, it's not missing anything, so I can just put the coefficients the entire way down. It's 2, then it's a 9, then it's a 3, then it's a negative 6. So there's that. And negative 4 goes on the outside because that's what we saw for. So I bring the 2 down. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. I add them together to get 1. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. I add them together to get negative 1. Negative 1 times 4 is positive 4. I add them together to get negative 2. And remember, you go one step lower. So when you're doing this, it was started at x cubed, so this is x squared. That's a plus because it's a positive one. That's an x to minus one, and this is your remainder over the x plus four. So there is your answer all down here. Two x squared plus one x minus one 
plus, sorry, let me put that in there, plus a negative 2 over x plus 4 is your answer. All right, taking a look here at another, we have what will make that 0 in there? Well, that means x needs to equal 4. Okay, so that means we have a 2 because there's no coefficients here missing. No, uh, we have x cubed, x squared, x, and a number, so there's nothing missing. So I can just plug them in the entire way down. So here they are. And I set this up just like that. And a 4 is what I'm plugging in now. So I bring down the first number, which is a 2. 2 times 4 is 8. I add them together, right? I'm adding them together to get a 1. 1 times that 4 is 4. I add them together to get negative 2. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. I add them together to get 7. So remember, it's one step lower. That's 2x's cubed. So this is 2x squared plus 1x minus 2 plus, since this is your remainder of 7, 7 over x minus 4. And right there on the bottom, right there, that is your answer. Okay, so uh, when we come back here, we'll do the um, the zeros of the function and figure out how to find out what all the zeros are since we just got done doing synthetic um, division. So hopefully we can get that all squared away for you as well with those examples.